Now welcome to my tutorial to the 1.2x firmware. I call it now 1.2.x because there definitely will come more updates on this. Uh, but it's a stable, a new working firmware and basically it brings all the functionality many people wished from the beginning of the OP set. So it's having now sampling, sampling through the microphone and sampling through the USB audio. And it also has a complete USB audio functionality. So that's a huge uh, list of features which were now implemented. So first of all, let's go straight into the sampling. You can now sample on all of the eight tracks. Um, you can use drum samples, which are sliced into separate little slices for each um, trick to have our own drum sound or you can use a um, lead track and uh, use one big sample with, um, uh, with a uh, loop in and loop out point and use it as a solo instrument or chord instrument whatever you want so you decide if you want to have uh, drum samples um, on track 1 to 4 or if you want to have lead samples on track 5 to 8 so much about this we go straight into sampling um, for activating, first of all, I activate the track. I take in this case now the um, arpeggio track and I decide which plug I want to record on. If you use your app, you can see straight on the app if I select with track and holding the slot, deleting first of all the user sample and then creating user sample. That's the process to get into sampling mode to prepare the slot for the sampling. So you press first track, you erase your old sample and you create a user sample. And then it's blinking and it's ready for sampling. To enter the sampling, you press stop and record. Not the other way, because the other way is another functionality. But to enter sampling, press stop and record. You're straight in the sampler mode. On the app you will of course see like a sampling screen with the waveform representing what you have sampled. When you activate sampling you have of course um, some uh, settings to do. First of all the root key. You define the root key by pressing shift and then pressing the root key which you want to sample the root node and um, then you can decide the loudness of your sample, so the attenuator. When you now go into sampling mode, of course, and nothing is connected on the USB port, it will, of course, record with the microphone, like a pocket operator 33. So we can listen to what's coming in on the microphone or on the USB audio, but I first show now the microphone by pressing the play button. So, and then we see a level representing here. If it's not loud enough, I can attenuate by holding shift and using the upper keys to make it louder. And now I see a full scale. So let's sample something. Check out first the volume. I have uh, prepared here a little box with a string on. Let's see which might be good for the arpeggiator. To activate sampling, I press the record button. But as I said first, I would like to define the root note. Let's see what this is. And then... We can still change it later then with the tuning. So I put it now on the root note E. If you want to tune to an instrument, there's a wonderful function with pressing the track button in sampling mode and I hear a A note at 440. The loudness of it I can change here with uh, this encoder, the first green encoder for tuning to my A440. 
440 chamber, chamber note A tone. Switching off by pressing track. So we are now in record. We have maximum loudness put it here. To start record, I press just the record button. So, and here is my sample. So, and of course, first of all, I need to truncate it in the right position because it started directly to sample. I have um, two levels by pressing shift of operability on the first when it's white. I have the start point on the green encoder and the end point on the blue encoder. I have a pitch on the yellow encoder and again on the red encoder. So now let's go into the into the truncating. So and here's my note. A good function about the truncate is that when I rotate it really fast, it goes fast and if I rotate it slowly, it makes slower steps. So it's seeing the velocity and the speed, the pace, how you dial your encoder. And the endpoint with the blue encoder. And here it is, my sample. Then I can gain it and I can pitch it. So I can have here my A tone. And with the plus minus, I can pitch in semitones. I put this more silent. And now, and fine tuning and pitching, I do with the yellow and color. So, and now it's in the right pitch for the A. And now can I can play it on my keyboard. I exit by pressing stop and then I'm straight in the keyboard mode. If I want to re-enter, it's easy. I just press stop and records and I'm back in the sampling mode. On the second page, I of course have also a few functions. I can design the direction of each sample. In this case, I only have one sample. So much about sampling on the lead track. If I want to change something, I always can press again stop and record to go and change my sample. For example, if I want to gain it up or change the pitch or like the loop, I can do straight here. Now let's see how sampling works on the drum track. The drum track we take for example here, bass drum track. So let's see. Below. Yeah, let's take this slot, deleting user sample first of all with track and pressing, holding the slot and then again creating user sample, then it's ready for sampling. And then I activate with stop and record the sample mode. This and here I have now, sample. of course, separate slots and separate samples for my drums with slices. The slice functionality is actually the same like with the OP1, so it auto slices by having um, a level coming in and then puts all the separate samples on uh, each keyboard. So let's sample a bit. We have again here our nice little drum or whatever we call it. And of course we first of all put the level again to maximum and then we see, yeah, it's loud enough. And we hold the record button. Also here we can decide the basic root note and then we play. 
So now we have four samples. By pressing the key, which we want to edit. And we have again on the first page, when it's light, uh, white illuminated, we have um, our start end point for the sample. And it uh, acts to the speed of dialing. We can put up the gain, having the next sample. Finding start and end point. Putting up gain. And the next sample. And the last sample, it was four hits. So, so first of all here, and then we put the start point of the sample, end point. needs more attenuation. So now we have sliced four, but the other slots are of course not with slices. If we want to copy slices, we just press the shift and copy this, for example, to here and to here, to here, and then we have the same samples with the same settings copied to different slots. When we're done with the, our settings, we press again stop and we are out of the editing. We always can re-enter it with stop and record. So much about the first level of editing. On the second level, of course, we have functionalities for the direction of sampling and um, if we want to have it looping or not. And with the yellow encoder we decide again like the direction of each sample. So much about this functionality. Now let's have a look into sampling from USB. The wonderful function is that um, this USB driver doesn't only allow to sample and to record USB audio with iPhones and iPads. Basically for iPhone and iPad you always need this uh, special adapter directly. So you have to connect your iPhone with this lightning adapter. Um, with Android phones, it works with a lot of them automatically if it's the newest version of Android. So I just plug my Android phone and activate it. I go, of course, again into my record mode. Like before, I select here my instrument track. I take here the arpeggiator. Then I decide which user sample I want to create. I erase the slot number seven, activating it again. So, and then when I just connect USB, it automatically puts the audio into the USB. Again, I can set the level for my incoming signal. I can put the root note, shift, pressing the root note, and starting to set. And here's my set. I can put a start point, end point looping point so start point for the loop 
with the first encoder, with the seven, uh, with the blue encoder on the second level, I can have the endpoint for my loop. Earlier, if I, when I rotate faster, it's also faster going to the point. And with the red encoder, I put up the level. So much about the sampling. The functionality works really easy and smooth. Now let's see some other feature, and it's um, the direct audio feature to record. So you can use a standard recording software. Of course, you can also connect it to your iPhone, to your iPad, to your computer, directly record in the Ableton. But I show you now here with a simple audio recorder how it's working by pressing record and it instantly records on the device. Of course, it is the master bus, so you cannot separately record the tracks. Here it is. I'm playing. So as you can see, it's quite stable working, the functionality to record on USB and to playback on USB. It's working with all newer versions of Android. I checked it out with the uh, Several who are Wave phones. Uh, I also checked it out with the Samsung, the S8 and the S9. So it was always working with the newest version. It's not working with older versions from Android, but when you have a current version, it is running. Also, of course, with the newest version of iPhones and iPads. So you have fully sampling functionality. So much about these features. I wish you uh, a lot of fun with this and of course hit the like button please if you like this tutorial and also follow my channel if you're interested in more tutorials on the OP set because I in a regularly base put tutorials um, or features on that. So have a nice day. Bye.